Hello and uh, welcome to this RPG Maker XP tutorial. Uh, I'm Sasri Dado314 and I will show you how to make a beggar in the, your game. So simply you start with create a beggar or uh, event. I like to use uh, Prisoner 1 because, well, it's a poor one. And uh, on the movement, as you see, I have approach that makes him follow you and the speed 3 or slow. That's make him not to be so fast, and I'll like use the frequency six because then he will move all the time. So first, we will have to make the beggar say something, like "Welcome to the city. May you spare me any gold." Will he say? And then you get the choices. Uh, I'll like to use three as named give beggar one gold kill beggar or keep your gold if you choose to give him uh, one gold the conditional branch will have gold on that is you need to have one or more on you to give him if you don't have it he will simply say that you don't have enough as you don't got one gold and if you have one gold, your gold will be decreased by one. And the beggar will say, thank you very much. If you take, sell him or keep your gold, the beggar will say, but I have a family to feed. As you see, yeah. And after that we will have to go into the database on the kill beggar, but first we have the beggar will say why I'm just a beggar that I like to do and then we take another two choices to kill him or let him live and uh, if you let him live he will just simply say thank you And uh, if you choose to kill him, we will add him to simply say, I hope you die in hell. And now that we have come this far, we just simply go into the, the database. And as you see, I'm at armor that also say that we shall make a drop item for him. So we take a name, the first uh, cloth or beggars cloth and then we take the icon head 2 because it's a helmet and simply look poor for a beggar we'll have it worth 5 gold and we'll have a description a dead beggar's cloth and apply then we go over to enemies that we will name beggar there I normally use teeth one because he's not so or he look poor then I simply decrease everything by half except hit points so he could at last get a chance to hit you once normally I take hit points decreased by the half too but you can do it too if you want but I think I skip it this time and uh, when you have come this far as you see 20 xp and 3 gold for killing one you will simply just get the 100% for the beggar's clothes. Then we will take hit and target animation. I just learned it like that, so I'll just use it, so I just think to show it to. Then we make a new trope named beggar2, or at last I do, you can name it as something else if you like, and um, we simply add the beggar in. We just press apply and OK, and we have it done and then we we'll go back and go on page 3 and event commands and take battle progressing where we then take the beggar and we can continue even when loose because then he can get some gold too so if he lose the beggar will be happy and say haha I got your your gold 
and uh, you will simply lose a hundred gold or yeah I don't like to use hundred gold so you can say what take what you like then we add text says beggar took a hundred gold from you so you know that he took something from you and uh, if you win I use control switches because I like it more than soft switches because if I use them in another town or, or use all the switches in a town, it would be just easy to use a uh, switch at this beggar. So I take beggar slash a for my town that's named Awesome Town and take dad because he's dead. And uh, with them, make a new event page. I already done it, so we just take the switch on. Then we take apply and we simply got it done. And uh, as you see here, the beggar simply follows me. And uh, you can uh, give the beggar one goal, uh, but you see he don't have. You can also kill the beggar. by simply just taking slash g on the end here like oops like this so if you then talk to him you the hero can check which goal he have or she have as you see up in the corner here but we still want to kill him so yeah and that's basically how you make a beggar and uh, so thanks for watching and if you have any requests so I can f figure to find out just uh, send me a message at uh, YouTube and if not I will keep up with my tutorials thanks for watching